Alright guys, um, so <laughs> sometimes when people are learning to first how to deadlift, they're really struggling with that, that hip hinge aspect, really kind of figuring out how to not to do it and not just to sort of squat the weight. So what I found is a kettlebell is one of the easier ways because I can sort of promote a little more back behavior by putting the, by putting the bell behind. Okay? And then what I can also work on promoting is I can add a couple extra components to it to make it a little more challenging from the standpoint of now you can't cheat. So with the foam roller in the way, I can come here, okay, kettlebell lined up with my ankles. I can come down, okay, I know I want to get my chin right next to that roller, okay, grabbing the kettlebell, and now on the way up, I can't hit the foam roller. If I hit it, that means I came up with sort of crap before. Okay? If, as I keep it in tight and I keep my lats engaged, like we should be teaching the deadlift, okay? the, the kettlebell rises up in that vertical path, which is what we want. We want here to pop right up. Okay? Any other way, we're teaching a different behavior. So giving sometimes giving those extra cues or giving that extra environmental uh, cue will allow the client to be able to learn how to actually hip hinge a little better so you don't just have your clients squatting a deadlift. All right guys, let me know if you have any questions.